So Core Motor Cars is Cornelius from Core Motor Cars. Great right. name, by the way, easy to remember. It is. <laughs> All right, what do we have in front of us now? This is, what do you call it, a backdated car? It's a backdate. We started with a 1976 912, which we just happen to have in inventory. 912, for those who don't know, it's a basically Porsche putting a four-cylinder Volkswagen motor in the 911 chassis 912. It was only for one year, though, as the impact bumper car. That it's not sacrilege to redo what was a four-cylinder 911. No. And so a lot of people are doing this. Some, I have a, a neighbor of mine who made an electric one. Yep. So uh, it's a fun project. So it's a perfect donor chassis for this. So yeah. it's very different looking from that 912. So it is. What, let's start on the outside and then we'll get to the motor and then the inside and we'll sure. take it for a drive. So we wanted to pick a, pick a color, but making sure it was period correct. This was available as a 911 color in 73. Basically, we wanted to make a 1973 911S, was kind of our goal. Yep. We've changed the fenders, we've changed the hood, we've changed the front bumper, the rear bumper, and then we've also relocated, you can't see it, but we relocated the latch for the hood mm -hmm. to make sure it's in the correct position as for a, a long hood though. I like the color. Yep. It's very clean. Headlamps are similar to that era of 911. They look no, a little more modern. No, we, we, we put in a, a modern uh, H4 headlamp. And these wheels are the real showstopper, in my opinion, because it, it shows you that it's not just the 911, it's something different. different. The most time I spent on this car picking different items, I have to say, was probably the wheels. I went back and forth. I mean, the car originally came with a uh, 15 inch Fuchs, which we still have, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. We looked at aftermarket wheels. We looked at a whole bunch of different wheels. I remember in going through all the wheel choices, somebody had suggested maybe just doing a steely mm -hmm. steel wheel from which was common back in the long hood era. Right. Um, in the sixties, and probably early 70s was just a steel wheel. And they even had hubcaps, right? And then we found these. These are actually an aluminum wheel made by a company in the UK, Group 4 Wheels. So are these just rubber caps on the bolts nope. here? We replaced the uh, lugs or the, the studs with extended studs. So it gave it that sort of an outlaw look. And then we got the um, uh, the anodized uh, zinc zinc coated lugs mm -hmm. again just to give it that contrast um, it was just a look we were going for with the wheel I think we pulled it off yeah with the satin wheel it's not a bright wheel it's just a no. flat sort of satin it's but really everybody cool. everybody that looks at it thinks it's a steely but it's it, aluminum. They, they're aluminum and they weigh 15 pounds a piece we were in touch with the owner we told them about the car about the tire size we were going to use and the look we were going for and he came up with the offsets and I think he did I think I mean he did an awesome Well the job. whole thing about um, any car especially a sports car is the stance. Correct. And that's really what makes these cars look so badass. Yeah to say it all the G-body cars the the factory wheels were always in sets yeah. way too far. Yeah. Now other than the really cool looking wheels I think the number one thing you're going to notice is a roof rack on a 911 is not a common thing. So why did you decide to go with this roof rack and why roof rack? I'd love to lie to you, but um, there was a bit of a mistake happened on the roof and the the easiest correction was, was to roof, cover it up. Was to cover, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you about it. So, so what there's is it? No, What's the issue? So we, I, I didn't want a, a sunroof. The car came with a sunroof. Mm -hmm. I didn't want this car to you have a, a slick sunroof. top right I wanted i wanted to be a sunroof delete car there was a brand new product that they had access to what they did is they spot welded the roof back into the car mm -hmm. and then the the filler they used was this new concrete filler two years later it separated it bubbled up so if you get really close you can kind of see it's sitting like a millimeter higher than it's supposed to because i didn't want i mean we can fix that but the issue is we got to take the front windshield out the rear window out we and then the whole roof gets painted including the a pillars the cowl. the cowl i didn't want there to be a color match issue right which could happen it always can happen so those of you who are keen on your Porsche history, this car has a badge on the rear deck that says 2.7. So the 2.7 liter was in the RS at this era. So you're backdating this to a 73 car, right? 
Well, yeah, that was our goal was kind of make a 1973 911S. Um, we put the badge on just because that is the motor that is in the car currently. This engine came out of a 1975 911. From a guy from New York was putting a different motor in his car, crated it, delivered it. When we received the motor, we had our guys take it all apart, rebuild it again. We, we sent the case halves, magnesium case halves, we sent those down to Ollie's to get them line board. Basically, we rebuilt the motor, did a top end rebuild, resealed it, new head studs in the car, we upgraded the head studs. The only kind of modification we did to the 2.7 is we put uh, 911 SC cams in it. It'll be a little bit lumpier cam at low RPM, it just, it's a little lumpier, yeah. and then up and it comes top, on it, the cam, yeah, right? it, it screams up top. So but other than that, it's a stock car. But everything, like you, you'll notice, every single nut and bolt on the motor is basically new. The idea when we, when we started with the car is we wanted a car that anybody can just get into, whether it's cold outside, hot outside, spring, fall, summer, winter, doesn't really matter. You can get into the car, it'll start, and it'll run. Yeah. All right, we're going to show the inside and go for a drive. You know what, Cor? It's yep. amazing how big the modern 911 has become because <laughs> we are sitting very close to the camera. We're almost touching each other. Yeah, that's a first date. <laughs> All right, so the inside of this backdated 911, what did you do? And what's there's just a few little things left, right? Just a few little things left to do on the interior of the car, but for the most part, it's all done. So we basically, every, you know, all the carpeting is brand new. We, we retain the rear seat, so the, all the leather is new. Uh, we did the RS door cards. And then we did a brand new headliner as well. So, so is this Momo Wheel original? What is, proto, sim, similar to it? Sort of. It's sort of period correct, but yeah, Moto, Momo Prototipo steering wheel. Um, we did a radio delete. We got rid of the radio. And that's it. We did some some uh, interesting trim. This looks like ostrich skin or something. Is that what it, it is? It's like a basket, sort of like mm -hmm. a basket weave. Um, from oh, back I see in it the in the light. Yeah, yeah, like a basket weave, like a Volkswagen Beetle would have yeah. seats like that, right? With the aluminum uh, trim on it. So we're, we we still have to deal with the the gauges are basically done. We've got some aluminum trim that goes around surrounds. So it'll have aluminum trim on the gauges. Basically, just a little bit of cleanup, and then I think we're done. Okay. All right. Who knows? All right. Let's start it up. Go for a spin. Sure. No air conditioning in this era. No. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds healthy. Brand new SSIs with a Dansk Sport muffler. Well, you remember what the color is. Light ivory. Light ivory. All right. Let's go for a spin. Sounds good. Yeah, you can feel it's a little bit lumpy at idle, but then when you... Sounds good. Hit it on the bubble, it's full strong. Yeah, the SC cams just take the RPM a little higher and uh, yeah, feels stronger up top. So what would you estimate the horsepower on this? It's, it's, we'd like to get it on a dyno, but I'm, I'm guessing we're, we're probably around 200 or early 200s at the wheels. Okay. Which is, which is more. Yeah. More I, than enough in this thing. Yeah, because thing. these cars are so small and light. The steering is really nice. That's, the, if you just play with the steering a little bit, you'll feel how direct it is. So the idea when we set up the, when we set up the car to sort of like a sleeper where the suspension, like we, we went a little bit, I don't want to say overboard, but we, we put all like a lot of age, effort into a lot that. of effort into the suspension because we wanted the the car to handle really well. Um, so, like the Terra Racing adjustable sway bars, the Bilstein HD uh, shocks all around. We we upgraded to a slightly st uh, stiffer torsion beam as well, fronts and rears. And then the nice light wheels. I mean, that makes a yeah. big difference, right? So, tell me about this transmission. This was very so, correct. Uh, nope. We found a, a 915 tranny um, and we had it completely rebuilt. So all new synchros. I can't remember if we replaced any of the gears, but all the synchros would be new. So you've been selling Porsches for over 20 years, right? Probably around 20 years. So who's going to buy a backdated 911 to look like a early 70s S? We were thinking, who's the guy that, that really wants an old 911, a long hood. But A, I mean, the prices of those have gone crazy as well, especially if, I mean, a 911S 
in, in this condition um, would be ridiculous in price. You wouldn't want to drive it anywhere, basically. It's too valuable to drive. It's too on. valuable to, to be driving around in this condition. So, and the other thing is like, this is very drivable, right? Like you could, you can, you could easily drive this on a road trip or something um, and be comfortable and know you're going to get there, know you're going to get home. It's for the guy that who wants that look but doesn't want no to headings. deal with all the old car stuff. But you did a good job. I mean, you spent you. five years doing it. Five years. Five, six years doing it. It's going to be sad to see it go, I bet. Uh, that's, to be honest, that's why we're, we're, we're really slow on bringing it to market and, and, uh, and I'm always finding something else to do. I'm not in a hurry to sell the car, although like my wife's the controller and she's, yeah, she pushes me Move every it. day to move, move things. All right, there you go. That is a backdate 912 into a 911S. Pretty cool car, and I think you did a great job. I think you really captured the essence of the, uh, what do you call it? Not a rat rod, but a rebel car, right? Like an outlaw, sort outlaw, of yeah. an outlaw, but yeah. But thanks. It's 95% done. Uh, we want to put some mileage on the car and then get the oil because the engine's new. We want to put some mileage on the car, oil change done, valves adjusted. There's a few more interior items I want to address, but it's like 90, 97, 98% finished. All right. Corecars.com if you're interested in it. Core, thanks yeah. for your time. Thank you.